we're really not doing well enough at the moment. So on the one hand, the UN has criticised Britain for not advancing the rights of the disabled community enough and for adversely affecting disabled people across the UK in some of its rulings recently. This is a judgment which was passed in 2016 and it's being reviewed and our representatives couldn't be bothered to turn up to look at it. And at the same time, we've got a recognition that the closure of ticket offices across the rail network will indeed, as was feared, adversely affect elderly people and disabled people as well. And all of this could be avoided if we actually had a functioning system, uh, not just the government in Westminster, not just local councils, but the whole system of bureaucratic oversight if it was actually working for us rather than working for itself. This self-perpetuating slap on the back. How did we do? How did we, we only have to interface with any part of that system to get an email back. How did we do? Tell us how we did. I don't answer these things anymore because I'm sick to death of slapping this idiot and mindless bureaucracy on the back and saying, you did very well. Because even if we want to say you did appallingly, it doesn't allow us. So it's always out to congratulate itself. It doesn't listen. And it's a hopeless, hopeless system which eventually recognises it's doing harm and by that point it's too late. And the Geneva situation today it sort of encapsulates that almost perfectly. I cannot be bothered going to listen to what you've got to say. We're doing well enough, we think. Well, listen to somebody else. Listen to what somebody outside is saying about the great progress we think we're making. Because the place for propaganda, I thought, was in Putin's Russia. But increasingly, I'm beginning to think the place for propaganda has become the UK government and Whitehall. And I don't recognise that as part of my country. I don't see Britain as the propaganda capital, loosely aping Putin. I think we've got to reform ourselves. I think we've got to pull ourselves up by the bootstrings and say we're not doing well enough. We have to change. We do have to change. I'm sorry to put that extra word in there. We we have to change. When I say we do have to change, I make I make it sound as if I'm Nadine Doris. The ghost of Nadine walks again with rather useless language and rather rather unnecessary words slotted in here and there. I might as well add the word just somewhere when it's not referring to law and used in a sort of strange adverbial filler way.